I'm actually really disappointed. Um, I really wanted to use you. I wanted to use you to fix the Wish graphics card. But unfortunately, I figured out what the problem was with the Wish graphics card. And the solution doesn't involve soldering, which is really sad because I, I really wanted to solder stuff to that card. And if I still just go ahead and solder things to it, it's just going to be gratuitous soldering at this point. And honestly, I don't really approve of gratuitous soldering. If you just start soldering things to stuff with no reason, you become the tech equivalent of Quentin Tarantino. And unfortunately, I'm not talented enough to pull off all of the gratuitous nudity. I mean violence. I mean soldering. So this is going to be the last ever video about the fake GTX 1050 Ti off of Wish because I figured out what the problem was. It doesn't make any sense that the problem is the problem, but I fixed it. So what I'm going to do in the video today is I'm going to run you through how I fixed it and I'm going to explain why it doesn't make any sense and then we're going to run some benchmarks to see how this GTS 450 kind of GTX 1050 Ti thing actually performs. Um, spoiler alert, it really sucks. <laughs> now in the previous video, I ran you through the process of how I screwed up flashing a BIOS to the graphics card and how I eventually figured it out. And even that didn't help the problem. And whenever there was a big load on the graphics card, it would just kind of crash even with the functioning BIOS on it. So I kind of assumed that it was a power delivery issue because there's a missing six pin on the graphics card PCB and all GTS 450s to my knowledge had a six pin. So that must have been the issue. And that's why I so badly wanted to solder stuff to that graphics card. But then today when I set up a PC so that I could actually kind of just easily slot in the graphics card to test it after I've soldered it. And one of the things that I noticed was even though the GTS 1050 is supposedly a one gig version of the graphics card, um, when the load on the graphics card's ma memory went over 480 megabytes, that's when the games crashed. It wasn't when the load on the GPU hit like 100% or whatever, which I initially thought it was. So then I did quick research and figured out that there was actually a 512 megabyte version of the GTS 450. It's a very rare graphics card, but it does exist for some reason beknownst only to Nvidia. I don't know why they'd make a 512 megabyte version of a, of a graphics card that also has a 2 gig, a 1 gig and a 512 gig version, but you know, Nvidia is weird sometimes. Um, so then I was like, oh, please tell me that this isn't the solution. And then I downloaded the BIOS for the 512 meg version of the GTS 450, like an OEM NVIDIA one. And well, it works. Um, I could run any game that I wanted to on it without it crashing at 1080p. So there wasn't an issue there. I could even run Far Cry 5. Not very well. I got an average of like 4 frames per second. Um, but yes, the graphics card is now fixed very, very lamely without the use of my, my, my soldering iron. Now, the reason that this fix of the 512 megabyte version of the GTS 450 BIOS doesn't make any sense to me is because the PCB has eight of these Hynix memory chips on them. And if you Google what these chips are, they're one gigabit modules of GDDR5. And the fact that there's eight of them adds up to one gigabyte of GDDR5. So technically the PCB does have one gig of VRAM on it. But for some reason, only 512 megabyte of it actually works. It's actually connected to the graphics card. With a 512 meg BIOS on it, this graphics card works. And I'll actually have the BIOS linked in the description so that you can go download it if you want this BIOS for your own graphics card. And then finally, here we have a little bit of gameplay footage of Apex Legends at 720p at the lowest settings. 
And as you can see, it's not going very well. I mean, it's obviously a pretty terrible graphics card if it's a scam at $48. Now, the graphics card isn't completely useless. Uh, you can play games like CSGO and Dota 2 at reasonable frame rates at the lowest settings at 1080p. But honestly, those are the only games you can play at a reasonable setting um, that isn't at least five or six years old. I mean, this graphics card kind of sucked when it was released, let alone like five years later. And with that, it brings me to the end of a very short Wish video that we just had to get out of the way so that you guys know that this thing does work. Anyway, if you like the video, do like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Um, I've got an Instagram page and a Twitter page. Go check those out. I also have a Discord page, which I'll link in the description below. And yeah, until the next video, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.